I haven't used Vue that much, mostly because I just haven't found a need for it. But I have used Nux. I've always said there's always one thing from every framework, library, or language that other framework libraries or languages should learn from. And within Nux, it's one thing that I think every framework should have. Nux is really either ahead of its time or just uh, underrated because there's so many little DX niceties that I think just go under the wayside. No one really talks about them and really I wish I could build in Nux more. So this is going to be a really quick video because I think it's really easy to show why I think every framework should have this feature. It's not just that Nux has, you know, a minimal uh, kind of templating language. It's not just that it has routing built in or even data fetching, which is, oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Use fetch. And you just automatically have a way to do that. It's not auto imports, although that is really nice and you don't have to think about it. And it's not even the fact that it has API routes out of the box. No, I mean, most frameworks have something similar to each one of these. No, it's found in this integrations and modules. Build faster with Nuxt modules. So here's why I think every framework should have modules like Nuxt. There's nothing groundbreaking about this. These are essentially uh, packages that work directly with Nux and how Nux expects to have those packages work within it. But I'll show you. So while there are official Nux modules, and this just goes to show that these are just uh, packages that are designed to neatly integrate within Nux, and yes, most every other framework has this version of modules or maybe packages that might integrate cleanly, like a Next package, for example. But I think there's more than meets the eye with how it's labeled as modules and then what you actually can do with it. It's not just an S. DK. Why? Let's take the Nuxt fonts, for example. Yes, you just install it by using this MPX Nuxt module, and then you can add fonts. But what actually happens when you do that? Well, if you take a look at the documentation here, after that happens, and of course, the manual install shows a little bit more of what's happening behind the scenes. It's being added to this modules config. Then you just add a font family to your scoped styles or wherever you're styling your CSS and it automatically reads that and gets loaded in for your browser. So yes, a lot of magic that's happening behind the scenes and there's some amazing things like proxying and caching that font request too. But the long and short of it is, is this module is doing a lot for you that you otherwise would have to do on your own. And if Nux makes this simple within their own official packages, well then how should other frameworks and libraries be thinking about modules? One, to maybe get other amazing tools, packages, and just libraries in front of the official community. But then two, if it's easier, more people are going to choose the easier option. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're starting off with Nux and you're looking at this website, you're seeing modules right off the bat. You see the official stuff. You see the things that are sponsored, of course, which is great. I have no problem with that. But then if you look at database, well, you see, okay, there's a few. There's Superbase. There's a file storage, AppWrite. Um, but there's not stuff that you might otherwise expect. So if you are new to Nuxt, you might be thinking, okay, maybe I don't use Convex. And, and so for those Convex folks listening in, maybe getting a Nuxt module up and running should be next on the roadmap. If I was to take a look at this Superbase wrapper, and that's essentially what a module is, is a wrapper for Superbase JS to enable integration with Nux, but it's also just the nicety behind it. So instead of having to do all the work of setup in the background to then use the thing that you're wanting to use, well, installing it does all that. And then you can just use the handy helpers like use Superbase client or sign in with OTP. And you're not given maybe a starter kit out of the box, but you are given these helpers, these SDKs to use specifically with the framework that you already like. In this case, Nuxt. 
And so why am I so passionate about this? Because that's why I chose Laravel in the first place, because there was so much built into the framework, to the community, to the ecosystem. And yes, it was provided out of the box to make it easy. Let's take a look at something like Socialite within Laravel, which is social authentication within your Laravel application. No, it's not necessarily one click install, but the SDKs, the module for lack of better words, because it is a composer package and Socialite is a Laravel package. Okay, well maybe module isn't necessarily the word for it, but this is what I would consider a module in the sense that the Nux community modules are considered that. After installing, you get those helpers. You get those Laravel would call facades. And then within JavaScript, you have, you know, your hooks maybe, or just an SDK helper. And where I can say, okay, here's this socialite facade. And I want to use the GitHub driver. And it's as simple as that. It's given to me while also being easy to use. And the stuff that I don't really care about is hidden. Now you better stop me before I'm going on another rant. But this is the reason why everyone loves better auth right now. Why? Because it's essentially a module for all of the frameworks that it works with out of the box. And the wording is intentional. I can guarantee it. Integrations, integrating with Astra, with Next, with Nux, with backends, with mobile desktop like Expo. But when you look at something like a Next integration, you just install it and then add a couple of different files and uh, a couple lines of codes in different places and you're working with it out of the box. So what's the takeaway? I think frameworks like Next, like Remix, like SvelteKit even should learn from Nuxt. Modules that are essentially encouraged to be built so that it makes it easier for the end user. And how are they encouraged? Because they are listed, they are showcased, they are shown off to the community on their website. So whether it's first party packages like Laravel has, or if it's largely community driven modules like Nuxt has, I think that being able to showcase the simplicity of integrating all these external things with your framework, with your tools, just makes it better for everyone. There's a reason why I made that video on the better T stack that you can find way up there in the top right, because integrating things and being able to integrate things easier makes it better for the community, makes it better for your developers. DX, developer niceties, have tons of different names, whether it's integrations or modules, or just having the ability to showcase to your users who are wanting to use your package or maybe your upcoming product, how easy it can be to get up and running, what kind of magic do you give them? What kind of uh, complexities do you take away from them? Whether you're building internal tooling or just a little project for yourself, I think we can all be a little bit more mindful of this. So why don't we learn from Nuxt? Keep creating.